Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner where it is day 10 of Mermaid. And today's inspiration is the Ribbon Eel. Never seen one in real life. Never seen a real picture of one. Has that stopped me from doing any of these so far? No. Uh, so basically we're looking at, it's got some orangey yellows going on and some turquoisey blues. You know, complimentary colors, go nature. Uh, so today I'm feeling kind of in a cutesy, well, okay, I'm not feeling cutesy. I feel like trash because I'm in quarantine and I don't have to look pretty, but I'm feeling like drawing something cutesy. And so I'm gonna set this aside, keep them up there for a reminder of what I'm doing. Now, if you're in the Jane Davenport group on Facebook, uh, in the past you'll have seen that I, I draw myself often and I have different uh, characters of myself and one of them is Kimball Merman. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna draw Kimball Merman, which is basically just a cartoon version of me as a merman. Scooch this over a little bit. Just because I want my colored pencils right here. So these are the Jane Davenport Magic Wands. Um, yes, I do have Prismacolors, but I have like 300 Prismacolors. And it's sometimes a little more fun to just narrow it down to uh, limit your palette, makes it a little easier. Plus, I mean, the yeah, the color inspiration was only, what, three colors basically? Orange, yellow, and blue. Now the challenge is there is no orange in this set, but pink and yellow make orange, so not that hard. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start off with a lighter color. I'm gonna flip to the back just because it's been a while since I've used these in this book. These, like, just like any other medium, the pencils do appear a little differently on different papers. So that's a pretty good color. It's a little dark. Not dark, but you know. For a, an initial light sketch, maybe I'll use this one. So I'm gonna do like a light sketch first. Since I'm not planning on erasing or anything, I'm just gonna do a light sketch and just kind of keep adding to it. So yeah, here it goes. Let's all hope this works out. And hopefully you'll be able to see it. I can't see what the screen looks like right now, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. If not, it will appear in time, I promise. And usually when I draw with pencils, my face is like <laughs> so much closer to the paper. So it is a little more difficult drawing like this. I do have a bit of a belly. Now this eel, I guess it does have a little bit of a thing on its back. Because normally, like when I draw Kimball Merman, I do like big old fins on the end of the tail. Not this time. This time he's gonna have a little fin on the back of his bum. put his little fist on his hips. I don't want to get into too much detail since I am not erasing. Otherwise, I would try try and draw an actual hand. But that just seems like a lot of work. Also with hands, like this doesn't work all the time, but I've noticed it's easier if I draw the hand before I draw the arm. Like right now, I'm just gonna draw a hand floating out here. Oh, look, I'm shooting a little finger gun. And then, uh. Let's see here, so draw the hand really quick. And then you just draw the arm to make it look like it's attached to the body. Mm -hmm. It works a lot of the time, sometimes it doesn't. Give myself a little beard. I do have glasses, a merman with glasses, all right. And then I normally wear my hair in a bun. I do have a slight widow's peak. So I'm gonna draw the outline of the like hair pulled back. I have like kind of thick curly hair. So my bun is a little unruly. Like my hair looks, I don't know, it looks thicker than it really is. Just because of all the curls. And then we'll add a nice big bun on the back with a couple of little tweakers. 
All right, so I got the basic shape in. It really bugs me not having the tail in the end, but we're sticking with the eel theme. Uh, let's see here. So around my face, I have naturally like dark blonde, medium brown hair-ish colored, uh, but the eel has orangey and yellow colored face and like the top of its fin thingy, whatever it is. So I'm gonna do some browns yellows, and I'm gonna add a touch of pink to create an orange. But I'm gonna use brown probably for like the main lines. So there's the hair, and then a little beard action. Cause you know, I'm a manly man. Not really, I'm just lazy. And I hate shaving, so I just use clippers. Or as I call them, buzzers, but whatevs. Got little tweakers happening in the hair. Um, with the eyes, I think I'm just gonna do, I almost went black, but I think I'm gonna do dark blue for the eyes. I do have blue eyes, but I'm just using this for the whole eyeball. Now when I draw guys, I usually don't draw like um, a bunch of lashy lashes, unless I want the guy to look a little more feminine. So I usually kind of clump them together. I think, I might just use brown for the skin, like all the skin lines. I might bring in a little red for my lip line, but not a bright red. I don't want to look like I'm wearing lipstick or have chapped lips, although that's just a bright red. But I'm going to go over it with brown because his mouth is red. So I'm going to darken up just the out her mouth line just to take the uh, red tone down a little bit and then use dark blue actually I'll use a dark purple for the inside of the mouth red for the tongue go red a little pink okay and then a pale hmm I could go blue or gray with the teeth shading I might try blue just because I'm a more more into color Okay, and now I need a sip of coffee because I might die if I don't. That's not true, I'm just feeding in my addiction. I do have black, actually no, one of them, what color are my glasses? My glasses are black. I used to have really dark brown ones, but now I have black ones. It's like a rounded square. Even enough, and then I just kind of thicken the line to my desired glass thickness. Glasses thickness, I guess it's not glass. And then there's like that little part where the, uh, you know, that other part that goes behind the ear clips on. And then it just goes back behind the ear. And try and make them somewhat even. This part kind of goes behind where my nose would be. Somewhere in there. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. All right, now the face. We're gonna bring in some yellow. Just because that thing is yellow. I'm gonna add some yellow in, in my beard. Give it a little texture. And then I'll bring in some brown, kind of darken up these lines. And I kind of like to do thick outlines when I do cartoony stuff. Really make it look like those lines are meant to be there. Add a little brown into that, a little texture for some hair. And then I'm gonna add just a touch of a vibrant pink. I'm gonna try this one. And then I'll bring in a little of the bright yellow and I should kind of orangey it up a bit. I'm gonna bring my brown back through. Actually, maybe I'll bring in like a little, a little blue, just cause it's a little darker. And I'm not doing it all over the place, just, just little accents here and there. I'm a very colorful person, apparently. 
a little pinkish to the skin. Rosy cheeks. I do have very rosy cheeks. A little red on the nose. And let's bring the brown. A little pink on the top of the ears. And I'll bring in like a peachy skin tone. And just kind of lightly go over it. And kind of just ties all the colors in rather than just having stark white. I mean, I'm pretty pale, <clears throat> but I'm not that pale. Look at him winking at you. Hmm, I mean, there's no, maybe I won't use purple. So I was gonna use purple to shade, but there's not really any purpley anything happening with that dude. With the uh, eel, or sorry, yeah, the ribbon eel. Very yellowy, orangey stuff happening. Bring some yellow into those cheeks. Just where that red is, basically. Or the pink on the cheeks. Try this color, tone it down. Or maybe I've already gone too far. I mean, this isn't exactly my favorite version of uh, Kimball Merman, but hey based on an eel. Look like I've had a bit too much to drink and I don't drink so I can only assume how red my face would get. And I'm gonna add, I am gonna add a little black to the uh, eyes only because the glasses are very dark compared to it. stuff happening. I don't want to use that. Maybe I'll do the pink first. Kind of just give it accents. I'm not sure. This is a <laughs> this is a very different version of Kimball Merman. And then I'll go over it with the yellow. So I'll have like some yellowy highlights. It'll kind of have some orangey tones to it. I mean, I could just pull out my orange prisma color, but it just seems like a lot of work. They're like a foot away from me and I couldn't possibly. I really need to find out there's something over in that direction and it is making like the biggest knocking noise. It needs to knock it off. It's driving me nuts. I couldn't figure it out. I've uh, tried moving things around, but nothing seems to be working. Looking all sorts of bright. All right now, when I <clears throat> when I use pink, I like to add pink to joints on the body. So I will. Here's the shoulder. So I'll add a little pink to the shoulder, and I'll add pink to the elbow. Is going to be right here. I'll do it to the tips of the fingers. This is the thumb, and then these fingers are bending downwards. Yeah, I'm just doing a little bang bang gunshot thing. Um, knuckles, can't really see them here because I just got really lazy with that hand. Mm, and I think that might be it for the pink on the body. So this is a more peachy pink. And I'm gonna kind of just go over those areas, use it as the line work. And then I'm gonna take the brown and do the rest of the line work for the body. Although, what is the fish? The fish has lots of blue. Okay, hold up. We're gonna use blue. Although it is a brighter blue. Maybe I'll use this blue and this blue. Let's see how this goes. Actually, I'll use the lightest first because I can always darken it up. Weird. 
fun body colors. And then I have like, I gave myself like a little, a little thin belt, I guess you could call it. Okay, and I'm gonna add some darker blue into like the darker areas. My underbelly, I should get this darkest blue too. <laughs> I'm not loving this blue, I gotta say. I mean, I love the blue colors, but it's just too weird <laughs> for me. Let's just see if I can somewhat unite them all with brown, and then we'll go with blue on the uh, fish tail. It's like, it's not bad, but it's, uh, it's getting a little, like, too much. Remember when I said it's good to have a limited palette? Even though this is a limited selection of colors, there's like still a lot of color to choose from. And it's making him a, l a little too colorful. Plus I didn't use any of the blue for the skin up top, so that kind of threw things off. That is my bad. But also I'm okay with it. Um, all right, let's bring in some pinks. And then more of a peach color. My finger's huge. That's fine. I mean, he's not real. I'm just shading this one a little darker since it's in the background. Thumb, this little line right here needs to be a little bit more. And he's brown to do under here. The shading under the arm. All right, bring in the darkery, the darkery, wow, the darker peachy color. And kind of just work it out. Try and add a little bit of shape to the body. I'm pretty round, so I don't have to do all the muscles and stuff. Yay! <laughs> I'm just getting the lighter peach, kind of filling in the rest. All right, and I'm gonna take the blue just cause I, I did add the blue. So I'm gonna use it elsewhere for like shading, some line work. It is a little all over the place, but can't go backwards. It's kind of the, the, the pros and cons. I don't know, I mean, it's fun like not being able to erase because you have to just work with what you lay down. But it's also annoying because you want to erase. I'm just adding some blue up here so it looks a little more cohesive since I have blue everywhere else. All right, just trying to tie it together a little bit. Don't know if you just heard Rocky sneeze. All right, let's work on this tail thingy we got going on. So, the actual ribbon part, this part here, is a pinky, yellowy orange. Kind of fades in and out of the colors. And then it kind of ends up yellow. So it's got a lot of orangier color up here. And then it fades to like pinkish tones. I think I can kind of just take the yellow over this. Pretty bright color. And maybe I'll use brown to kind of outline it. All right, and then the rest of it is kind of made up of blues. So 
I will use the lightest blue first. And then <clears throat> I'll go into my darkest blue. I just did the lightest one so I could actually see what I was working with. But I think this whole bottom line will be dark blue. And this, I think actually all the line work on the tail should just be the dark blue. Except for this part, I'll just do it dark in the, in the curve. Start shading it up from there. It even looks like there might be like the slightest touch of like a green hue in this. Not a hundred percent sure about that. Go up to the next lightest color. Kind of just I just kind of go back over everything to incorporate the colors and then I'll drag this out a little bit further an easy way to color with colored pencils. Alrighty. I think I'll take this one and kind of do... Nope, I'm just going to do the light one. And do some scales. Not too patterned because I'm lazy. You kind of just, they kind of just fade out. Maybe a couple near the end. Let's bring in this. We'll add a little highlight. Ooh, it's kind of blobby. A little highlight to the glasses. Um. Hmm, could add a little, couple of streakies in the hair. I am getting lots of gray hairs lately. Just create a little separation between the hair. A little highlight on the shoulder, a little highlight on the cheek, or the glasses, either way, really. We'll do some little highlighty dots down here. Pulled out the bigger Jane Davenport one. Looks like I can make some scaly dots. And should I add some kind of color to the background? I mean, I do have a lot of water colors and water soluble things. Or should I just leave him standing out like that? I think, I think we could add a little something, maybe like a circular, something. Hmm. Okay. I'm grabbing this color, Lagoon. I think this actually has incredible inks mixed into it because I was running low. Uh, and pull out my circle guide. Hmm. Oh, didn't even make, need to make sure that's dry. <laughs> There's little white specks of paint. Dry! Let me just air dry this, or blow dry this real quick. Now the thing is, is that these holes in here are teeny tiny. So oh, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do something like that and have it go off the page. And then I can just use my blue colored pencils. That's probably good enough, right? We're just gonna go for it. That's fun. Put that back, put this away, scooch that over. I'm gonna pull out this paintbrush just in case I wanna bleed the colors. I'm not really sure how dark this is gonna be, but let's just get into it. Oh, that's good. Yep, I think it has mermaid marker, or uh, incredible inks in it, because I can smell it. But I don't want it to be too dark and it can be splotchy underwater is splotchy nice and subtle i'm gonna add a little water to this 
just so it's not so hard to shift around. Didn't want it to get too dark around the tail just because it's already blue. Oh, that's cute. But now it makes me want to do a white line around him, so I'm gonna dry this really quick. All right, let's try this one. When drawing on mermaid markers and incredible inks, it kind of reactivates, and so instead of getting a pure white line, it'll turn a little blue. In this case, it'll turn blue anyway. I'm mostly using this just because I'm trying to uh, run it out because I have so many white pens. And this is the one that I've had for a very long time. Sometimes I do also bring the white lines into the picture, like I'll do right here on the shoulder. Just because. You can see how much this white just sinks into that blue sometimes. But if it dries, you can go over it again. All right, I'm gonna use the big one. All right, give this a try. All right, you guys, there we have it. It is definitely a different look for Kimball Merman, but hey, I'm enjoying it. There's the uh, inspiration. Got a little little yellow and blue going on. It's all right. Um, I probably should have toned down the face. I don't really love the yellowy colors that happen in the face. Although if I added that, if I add them elsewhere on the body, maybe I would like it more. You know what, while we're here. Just so it doesn't look like I only put it on the face. Just add touches. Yellow is such a strong color. You don't have to do too much to have it show up. That's actually a little better. In my, you know, unprofessional opinion. All right, thanks you guys for joining me. I hope you had a good time and enjoy colored pencils. They're a lot of fun to work with. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with another mermaid. Take care, you guys, and uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.